This is uh, the NanoStim pacemaker. It is uh, the smallest pacemaker uh, available today as part of a clinical uh, trial. It's being implanted as part of a clinical trial. It does not require any kind of wiring that travels through the venous system. It uh, weighs about two grams. It's about four centimeters in length, and uh, it eliminates the need for uh, the pacing wire and eliminates the need for a surgical pocket or a lump that uh, those pacemakers create when they sit under the skin here in the chest wall. Uh, so the risk of infection is less. The risk of complications that um, are associated with the pacing wires on the long run uh, are also less. Here you see the delivery guide going through the leg after we get the access to the vein. Here the, uh, you see the guide going through the right upper chamber of the heart or the right atrium. It crosses the tricuspid valve or the valve and it goes into the right ventricle. Uh, once we make sure that the lead is uh, connected well or the pacemaker is connected well, we deploy the pacemaker over here. Then we pull the delivery guide all the way back out of the leg and nothing stays but this uh, four centimeter wireless pacemaker. Uh, patients uh, will feel immediately better uh, once their heart rates uh, uh, improve after the pacemaker has been implanted. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, the dizziness, uh, the generalized fatigue that they would experience uh, immediately, immediately improves after uh, increasing their heart rates to uh, where we target or to normal.